Hey everyone, it's Julian. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today is day 35 of me documenting my programming journey. It's also my birthday, my 23rd birthday, so that's cool. Anyway, it is Tuesday, March 29th at 6.14 a.m. And I'm getting started today by fixing some bugs in this expense tracking app I've been working on updating that I already have on the App Store, link in the description. And I talked about the things I'm going to be fixing in yesterday's vlog. Uh, today, I'm going to, I'll talk about it briefly before I get into it. So here we have this uh, instance of my app here in the simulator. And the biggest problem I'm having is, and I can't really demonstrate this for you, but if we sort here, um, also, I don't know why that just brought it, when I press the sort button, it's bringing that back to personal expense, the personal expense tab, which I don't quite understand. But the biggest thing I have to fix is that the sort functionality that I implemented doesn't work. I want to be able to sort expenses by most recent cost and alphabetical. Uh, so I want to make sure that works because again, it's not working. And there are a couple other features I want to implement, a couple other organizational things I want to do. For example, and when you delete an expense, you just delete it. I want to make it so that there's an alert that comes up. Little stuff like that is basically what I'm going to spend most of my time on today. So let's get into it. So about two hours later, I finally have some sort of functionality that works. I dealt with problem after problem. Let's check it out. So this code is a complete mess. I'm not sure I'm really even gonna stick with it. I think I'll probably end up sticking with aspects of it and roll back some of my other stuff. But this is my new expense view that has some functionality going on when the view is shown. So we have an unappear modifier, same view model, update expense list. And then if we go to our view model to see the update expense list function, we're running the filter expenses function, which is a new function, which is right here. That sorts our expense arrays, our business expense array and our personal expense array based on whatever the user selected. And we have these expense arrays right up here. So now what that means you can do is you can go to the app, you can have your car, zebra, desk. I just put these in here so it'd be really easy to tell if the alphabetical and stuff is sorting. And uh, if you go to sort by cost, we'll see that it sorts correctly by cost in order from lowest cost to highest cost. If we go from sort A to Z, it sorts A to Z, just like you'd expect. And if we go to a creation date, it sorts by creation date. And this functionality only kind of works <laughs> because I cannot figure out how to um, make swipe to delete functionality work properly because when I hit delete, you're going to see some weird stuff happen. It slides back in and it doesn't actually delete. So I'm going to try to figure that out. But what I really think I'm going to end up doing is just making it so that you can only delete by going in here and having the delete button instead of using swipe to delete because I don't really know how I would implement that and I want to get this finished but also I want to figure it out so I don't know I'll, 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do yet small bucks aside I'm really glad I finally got this to work and I'm looking forward to cleaning it up because right now it's a complete mess because I was just doing stuff over and over again to try to make it work and I finally made it work and now I want to make it look not terribly ugly like it does right now but I don't have time for that right now because I have to get ready for work so I'm going to go do that and I will talk to you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching bye bye